Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we are going to take up the MCQs based on today's newspaper of The Hindu and Indian Express, which are important from UPSC Prelims exam perspective. The topics for today's discussion are listed on your screen. So let us start the discussion. The first question of today's discussion is based on this news, which featured on page number 14 in The Hindu. The context of this news is that the union government is planning to launch a national mission to eradicate thalassemia from India over next 25 years. It is a kind of disease which is life-threatening. UPSC has a habit of asking questions on diseases which are related to humans. So one must be aware about this particular disease and its characteristics. In 2021, UPSC asked about hereditary diseases. In this question, you are being given two statements and you need to identify which of them is or are correct. Just try a hand on this. And on the similar lines, we have framed one practice MCQ which says, consider the following statements with reference to thalassemia. The first statement says, thalassemia is a rare disorder in which blood lacks sufficient blood clotting proteins. It is an incorrect statement because thalassemia is a group of inherited blood disorder which is characterized by abnormal hemoglobin production and in this disease the patient cannot make enough hemoglobin which finally leads to anemia and those who are suffering from this particular disease require blood transfusions every two or three weeks to survive. Thalassemia is related to abnormal hemoglobin production and not related to blood clotting. The second statement says it is a genetic disorder that results from mutation in one or more genes that make hemoglobin. It is a correct statement as thalassemia results from mutation in one or more genes that make hemoglobin and is passed down to offsprings from one or both parents through their genes. And we need to identify the correct statements. The answer to this question becomes B which is 2 only. And you should also be aware that India has the largest number of children who are suffering from thalassemia in the world. And the only cure which is available to this particular disease is bone marrow transplantation. Just try to remember this particular information. And the answer to the previous year question is C, which is both 1 and 2. Moving on to the next question, which featured on page number 7 in Indian Express. In this news article, Supreme Court of India has said that right to marry is not a fundamental right provided under Indian constitution. Marriage has become an important topic of discussion due to the issue of same-sex marriage in India. And as far as our prelims exam is concerned, fundamental rights is an important and recurring theme. In 2018, a question has been asked on right to privacy. In this question, you need to identify the correct option out of the given four options. On the similar lines, we have curated one practice question on fundamental rights and it says which of the following fundamental rights is or are available only to citizens and not to foreigners. The first article which is mentioned here is article 14 which provides equality before law and equal protection of laws. The second one is article 16. It provides equality of opportunity in the matters of public employment. The third one is article 29 which provides the protection of language, script and culture of minorities. And the last one is Article 20, which deals with protection in respect of conviction for offences. Now you need to identify which of them is or are available only to citizens. Article 14, which deals with equality, is available to citizens and foreigners. So, it is an incorrect option. Now, the second one is Equality of opportunity in matters of public employment. It is very obvious that public employment should be given to citizens and not to foreigners. So, it is a correct option. The third one is protection of language, script and culture of minorities. It is available only to citizens and not to foreigners. And the last one which deals with conviction for offences is also extended to foreigners. Hence, it is an incorrect option. And the answer to this question becomes B which is 2 and 3 only. And the other rights which are available only to citizens are Article 15 which deals with prohibition of discrimination on the grounds of religion, race, caste, sex 
or place of birth and the next one in the list is article 19 which deals with the protection of six rights of freedom which includes speech and expression assembly association movement residence and profession it is only given to citizens and the last one is article 30 it gives right to minorities to establish and administer educational institutions so these are the five rights which are given to citizens only and the answer to the previous year question is c as right to privacy comes under article 21 the next question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 9 in indian express it basically talks about cyclone mocha which is likely to be developed over bay of bengal as cyclones and other atmospheric activities are important from UPSC prelims exam perspective. Hence, this area becomes important for our discussion. And previously, UPSC has asked questions on cyclones. In 2020, UPSC asked about jet streams and cyclone. In this question, three statements have been given and you need to identify the correct statements. Just try your hand on this. On the similar lines, we have curated one practice question and it says, consider the following statements. The first statement is, tropical cyclones require high wind shear to develop. Wind shear is the change in the speed or direction of wind with height. And low wind shear is essential for development of tropical cyclones. Hence, the first statement is incorrect. The second statement says, temperate cyclones are the chief characteristics of middle latitudes. It is a correct statement because Temperate cyclones mostly develop in middle latitudes. The third statement says, Temperate cyclones move anti-clockwise in northern hemisphere. It is again a correct statement as temperate cyclones move anti-clockwise in northern hemisphere and clockwise in southern hemisphere, which makes it a correct statement. And the answer to this question becomes B, which is 2 and 3 only. And the answer to the previous year question is C, which is 2 only. As the first statement says, jet streams occur in northern hemisphere only. It is an incorrect statement because they occur in southern hemisphere also. And the third statement says, the temperature inside the eye of a cyclone is nearly 10 degrees Celsius lesser than that of surroundings. It is again an incorrect statement. Moving on to the next question which is based on this news which featured on page number 17 in Indian Express. It basically talks about the social schemes which plays an important role in safeguarding the rights of underprivileged sections. UPSC has a habit of asking at least one or two schemes in prelims exam, which makes the government schemes important for our discussion. In this article, three schemes have been mentioned. The first one is Pardhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana. The second one is Pardhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana. And the third one is Atal Pension Yojana. Today we will be discussing the Pardhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana with the help of MCQ. In 2017, UPSC asked about National Pension Scheme and in this question, you have to identify who among the following can join National Pension Scheme. On the similar lines, we have curated one practice question with reference to Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, consider the following statements. In this question, you need to identify which of the statements is or are correct. The first statement says, Life Insurance Corporation is the nodal agency for the administration of scheme. It is an incorrect statement because Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana is an insurance scheme that comes under the Department of Financial Services which works under Ministry of Finance. And the scheme is being offered by public sector general insurance companies or any other general insurance company who are willing to offer the product on similar terms. LIC is not the nodal agency. The second statement says, any individual aged between 18 years to 55 years are eligible to apply for the scheme. It is again an incorrect statement. All individual account holders of participating banks or post office in the age group of 18 to 70 years are entitled to join. Second statement is incorrect. And the third statement says, it is an accidental insurance scheme mainly targeted at people from unorganized sector. Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana provides the accidental insurance worth rupees 2 lakh at 12 rupees per annum and the scheme particularly targets the people from unorganized sector. So the answer to this question becomes D which is 3 only and the answer to the previous year question is C. You can solve this question by elimination technique. The first option says 
resident indian citizens only it is an extreme statement and you can eliminate this the second statement is also of a similar kind and it says the persons of age from 21 to 55 years you can eliminate this one also now you are left with two options which are similar in nature all state government employees all central government employees and in most of the cases if such options are given the answer is from these options only the last statement says all central government employees including armed forces joining the services on or after 1st april many of you must be aware that for armed forces there are different provisions under which they are provided benefits hence it is again an incorrect statement and the answer becomes c moving on to the next question which is based on this news which featured on page number 10 in indian express the context of this news is that it basically talks about lithium reserves in india since the geological survey of india's claims of inferred lithium resource of 5.9 million tons from jammu kashmir upsc generally asks one or two questions on metals and minerals and from that point of view lithium is important for our prelims exam in 2019 a question on minor minerals is asked you are provided with three statements and you need to identify which of them is or are correct on the similar lines we have curated one practice mcq which says with reference to lithium consider the following statements the first statement says argentina has largest reserves of lithium in the world it is an incorrect statement the world's largest lithium reserves of 20 million ton are currently in the country of bolivia and not in argentina currently india imports all of its lithium requirements for domestic consumption it is a correct statement as india currently imports all its lithium needs and is almost entirely dependent on inflows of these imports for domestic consumption which makes the second statement correct the third statement says lithium ion batteries have longer life span and high self discharge rate many of you must be aware that nowadays lithium ion batteries are widely used in portable electronic devices such as smartphones laptops and cameras and it is because they have high energy density which means that they can store lot of energy in relatively small size and weight further lithium ion batteries have a longer life span and can handle more charge and discharge cycles and they have a lower self discharge rate which makes this statement incorrect lithium ion batteries have a longer life span but low self discharge rate and the answer to this question becomes b which is two only one more information which is important here is regarding lithium triangle it is situated in south america and includes three countries chile bolivia and argentina this piece of information is important for upsc prelims exam and the answer to the previous year question is a which is one and three only the last question of today's discussion is based on this news which appeared on page number 6 in the hindu it basically talks about karnatak elections in which the hindu migrants who came from bangladesh and myanmar are disappointed because because they have failed to get into the electoral rolls for the upcoming elections this article directly deals with the citizenship amendment act of 2019 which was passed by government of india in order to accommodate the migrants from neighboring countries hence we should be aware about the key features of that particular act in 2021 a question on citizenship was asked on the similar lines we have curated one practice mcq which says with the reference to citizenship amendment act 2019 which of the following statements is or are correct the first statement says it seeks to make illegal migrants who are hindus sikhs buddhist jain parsis and christians from afghanistan bangladesh and pakistan eligible for citizenship it is a correct statement because the 2019 act has amended the citizenship act of 1955 to accommodate the illegal migrants from afghanistan bangladesh and pakistan hence the first statement is correct the second statement says it will not apply to the tribal areas of assam meghalaya and tripura it is also a correct statement as this act exempts certain areas in the northeast from its provisions it also exempts the areas regulated through inner permit line which includes arunachal pradesh nagaland and mizoram so the answer to this question becomes c which is both 1 and 2 and the answer to the previous year question is a 
which is one only. The third statement says a foreigner once granted the citizenship cannot be deprived of it under any circumstances. It is an extreme statement and an incorrect one. And statement two says a citizen by birth only can become the head of state. In India, the naturalized citizen can also become the head of state, which makes this statement incorrect. And our answer becomes A. That's all for today's discussion. Thank you for watching today's DPP. Stay tuned for upcoming sessions, which will enhance your preparation for the prelims exam.